set for another lightweight contest. This one between Kai Hollenbeck, ranked number eight in glory. He takes on short notice replacement, the number 15 ranked Warren Chaka Zulu Stableman's Tale of the Tape, brought to you by the makers of Five Hour Energy. Steven Stableman's is two years older at 30. Their height and weight are very similar. Hollenbeck has 23 KOs in 48 fights, where Stableman's only has 19 KOs in 84 fights. So I give the power advantage definitely to Hollenbeck. This bout also scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he is a Dutch national champion who won the WFCA tie box world titles in 2010. His record, 64 wins with 19 losses and one draw, 20 big knockouts on his career record. He stands five feet seven inches tall, 1.70 meters, and weighed in at fight time at 153 pounds, 69.4 kilos. Fighting out of Cape Town, South Africa, please welcome Warren Shaka Zulu Stabelman. Here now is his opponent, opposite of the ring, fighting out of the white corner, a Muay Thai practitioner, 2011 North American Fighter of the Year. His record, 45 wins with just three losses, 23 career knockouts. At five feet, nine inches tall, 1.75 meters. He weighed in at 153 pounds, 69.4 kilos. Representing the United States and fighting tonight out of San Francisco, rank number eight and gentlemen, introducing Kai Hollenbeck. Your referee for this contest is Chris Wagner. Right here, right here. All right, gentlemen, you got your instructions in the dressing room. I want a nice clean fight. I'll be in my commands at all times. In case you're knocked down, go to the neutral corner that I tell you to go to. Remain next until I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? I want you to fight fair, fight hard, touch gloves. Referee Chris Wagner administering last minute instructions for this lightweight contest. Warren Stableman's on short notice looking to snap a three fight losing streak versus Kai Hollenbeck coming off the biggest win of his career against Albert Krauss after returning from a ACL injury suffered a year ago against Giorgio Petrosian in the quarterfinals of the 2012 Glory Lightweight Tournament. Meanwhile, Krauss has defeated Stableman's in the past. That occurred at Glory 5 of London in March. Holland Beck in the white gloves. Stableman's fighting out of the southpaw stance in the black gloves on the attack. Looks like Hollenbeck had a real good weight cut because whatever weight he lost, he put it back on. He looks much bigger than, than Warren. Stop. Brent, step back, please. Fight. Let's go. Hollenbeck, a part of the Can't Stop Crazy crew, which includes Joe Schilling, who we will see in action later tonight. Against an undefeated New York knockout artist Wayne Barrett Schilling, of course, making a very ostentatious glory debut, winning the middleweight tournament as Hollenbeck now on the attack, backing up Stableman's with a series of left and rights behind the guard. Stableman shelling up, trying to absorb the blows from Hollenbeck. Nice left hook to the liver by Hollenbeck. This is it. He's punching around the guard well, being aggressive, use his size, and break down the Dutch style. He's got a punch. You can see Stableman's wants to throw big left hands, big left low kicks. He caught him with that one, too. Midway point of the opening round. Good start here between Hollenbeck and Stableman's. Hollenbeck splits the guard with a stiff jab. Backs Stableman's to the ropes again in the clinch. Left hook to the liver by Hollenbeck. Another left hook to the body by Hollenbeck. Outside low kick by Stableman's as they clinch Stop. a knee Wait. to the hip by Hollenbeck. Under a minute remaining in the opening round. Shot. Wait. Fight. Outside low kick. Left high kick blocked by Stableman's. Stableman's needs a punch before he wants to kick. And the other thing too is he just can't back up and try and kick. He's getting punched over when he kicks. He's going to get caught. Step back. 
You got to use the kicks when they're going back, not when they're coming in. Final 30 seconds of the round. A great start by Kai Hollenbeck. He's coming in ranked at number eight, part of World Team USA with Cruz Sam, Finn South Sam, his trainer. There's a left hook, another left hook just misses with 15 seconds remaining in the frame. Stableman's telegraphing a knee that he refused to release from the chamber. Final seconds of the opening round, a great start for the American Kai Hollenbeck. Well, I think definitely Hollenbeck won the first round. He's out there, big bro brother in war, and he's just pushing around like he's a little brother in there. You can see there's a, a strength and size advantage, and he's doing a great job of being aggressive and not necessarily being pragmatic. He's mis mixing up his shots, coming from different angles, and always giving him a different look. The last great American heavyweight champion, Evander, the real deal, Holyfield, ringside, taking in the action of Glory 12 of New York, a cavalcade of stars in attendance here in the Big Apple to take in this world-class kickboxing event. The bell and round two, according to strike stats, very dominant opening three minutes for Hollenbeck. Landed a total of 33 punches compared to a paltry two for Stablemans, but Stablemans on the attack early in round two, landing a couple of lefts to the head and a left to the body. He made a good decision to switch to righty, and now he's having a little bit more success. Spinning back fist. Giving Stableman's a haircut by Hollenbeck, and Hollenbeck resorting to his MMA career there with a, a takedown. Has moonlit as a mixed martial artist in the past, but kickboxing is his one true love. Stableman's whipping that inside low kick that really just grazed the shin of Hollenbeck. And a big advantage for Hollenbeck when it comes to total strikes. One step, one strike. That's, that's illegal, though, and that's a waste of time. All you did was dump on his butt. You want to do some hitting, not some sleeping, not some throwing. You got to do damage to win here in glory. Just like that. All you're doing is waste some time. You got to do some hits. Fight. Referee Wagner admonishing Hollenbeck, saying one more time, and he will deduct a point. Push kick by Hollenbeck misses. There's a push kick that connects. Coming forward, swarming Stablemans, who's forced to shell up in the corner. Now they're in the clinch. Side headlock employed by Stablemans. So a bit of a wrestling match beginning to unfold here between Hollenbeck and Stablemans. Nice jab and then the outside low kick by Hollenbeck. Knee to the midsection by the American. He's employing a little jab and grab, though. He does a couple of combos and he's on, on the clinch. I don't like that style. He's, he's not clinching to attack. He's clinching not to get hit, like Stop. there. Break, step back. Final 60 seconds of the second round, fighting at close quarters in the clinch. There was a left knee to the rib cage, and now Wagner, the referee, steps in. Just missing with the right uppercut was Hollenbeck. Stabs him with the jab. There's a left to the body by Stablemans, but as a legendary announcer, Jim Ross might say, it's getting to be a little bowling shoot ugly here, dude. <laughs> exactly, but that's what Hollenbeck does. He makes it dirty, and he makes it a street fight. And if you're a tactical fighter, you're going to take him out of his Stop. rhythm, and that's what he's going right to warn. Let's go. Under 30 seconds left in the round. Spinning back fist, but it was the forearm, and it was blocked by Stableman, who again is forced to shell up along the ropes. 15 seconds left in the round. Now Hollenbeck swarming him with punches, lands the knee. And Wagner administering the eight count. Protect yourself. Fight. Die. That was big, Morrow, because now I believe he won the first round. He gets the extra point for the knockdown this round. So the only way Warren can win is via KO or TKO. Great flying knee. Loved it.
Hollenbeck looks fresh in his corner, even though he's keeping a great. Here's a Stiebelman left we're going to look at. This is probably his best shot of the round right there. Grabs in. He, he rocked him a little there, then followed up with a hook. Here's the Hollenbeck back fist, but mainly a, a, fo a forearm, but it's still a decisive blow. Those hurt too. Goes in for the clinch. And here's the knockdown. Pushes. That was beautiful. Flying knee. He used that push to ricochet. Holland, Hollenbeck used a push to ricochet him off the ropes and bounce into his knee. That's classic knee game. Keep it clean, keep it clean, finish strong. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Let's go. Fight! The bell in the third and final round of this lightweight contest here at Glory 12, New York. Kai Hollenbeck in the white gloves. Landed 18 kicks in the second round, over four times as many as Warren Stableman, who's in the black gloves, landed. He landed just four. So it's all Kai Hollenbeck here in round three. More Ronaldo Stop, Dubrufus, Rick, Ron Clark, and the rest of the Glory crew. Hope you're enjoying the action of Glory 12 from the theater at Madison Square Garden. Left hand by Stableman backs up Hollenbeck. And the left, another one backs up Hollenbeck. And we may be seeing deja vu here as we saw in the second semifinal with Risty coming back in the third round and stopping the heavily favored Petrosian. He's got a jump on him. Oh! Spinning back fist by Hollenbeck. Man, the drama in these fights are awesome, boy. High drama here in the third round is from the clinch. Hollenbeck delivers a couple of knees before being broken up by referee Wagner. That spinning back fist was blocked, but lands a couple of push kicks and another jump knee by Hollenbeck. Stableman's has got to go forward. He needs to start throwing bombs. He can't back out because he can't get his punches off. A minute 45 left to the third and final round. Jab by Hollenbeck backs. Stableman's to the ropes against Stableman's, taking this fight on short notice, replacing the injured Shepsi Bakiri, but he's used to that in his career. And following a couple of tough rounds, a good start to round three, but again now being smothered by Kai Hollenbeck. Looking to improve to three and one in glory, while Stableman's would like to move to the 500 mark under the glory banner at two and two. What Stableman's needs to do is don't wait for Hollenbeck to come in. Punch now, so he can, he's waiting, he's balling up, and that's why Stableman's is getting clinched. He waits too long to counter strike. Final 60 seconds of the third round. And Hollenbeck again just bull rushing Stablemans coming forward. Left kick to the liver, caught by Stablemans, and again, no knockdown. What Stablemans needs to do is uppercut as he's reaching for the clinch. Rip an uppercut while he reaches. Hollenbeck married to that waistlock clinch. Under 30 seconds left. That was an illegal sweep as well. There's no sweeps in the lower. Flurry of punches by Hollenbeck to close the round with 15 seconds left. And now Stableman says, hey, you want to legally sweep me? Two can play at that game. So it may have not been the prettiest, but we are through three rounds. We're headed to the judges' scorecards as Kai Hollenbeck and Warren Stableman's go the distance here at Glory 12, New York. Hollenbeck, born and raised in the San Francisco Bay Area, began wrestling at the age of 10 and did a lot of wrestling in, in this fight. He took up Muay Thai at the age of 15, initially to give him an edge against opponents while street fighting, of all things, do. Sagat, the ultimate street fighter, right, in, in the video games. So, yes, Muay Thai is the art of eight limbs, and it was a uh, hand hand combat. What kind of verdict do you think the judges are going to uh, deliver? Uh, heavy decision in Hollenbeck's favor. Throw the knockdown in there. We're probably going to see a 30 26. A huge edge in total punches landed, according to strike stats for Kai Hollenbeck. 79 to just 19 for Ward Stableman's, who. Uh, did stagger Hollenbeck to kick off round three, but unable to muster much more of an attack. 
And for Stablemans, the veteran at 30 years of age, taking the fight again on short notice, wanting to snap a three-fight losing streak. Holland Beck is big for a lightweight. I was impressed not only with his strength, but his output. He was in your face, pressure, pressure, pressure. His offense was his defense. Nicknamed Chaka Zulu after the famous ruler of the Zulus, the legendary South African warrior tribe. Hollenbeck turned professional while studying kinesiology at the University of Hawaii. Chaka Zulu didn't live up to his famous quote tonight, never leave an opponent standing. That's what the great Chaka Zulu said. And that didn't happen tonight, did it? Nope. Spirited affair, though, by Stevelmans, but he's either got to gain some weight and some strength or move down to the featherweight division. It just, Hollenbeck looked so much bigger than him. Hollenbeck wanted to be more technical in this fight. There were glimpses, but a lot of roughhousing, a lot of that clinch game, the legal sweeps. You know, it's like your uh, Paisan from, deceased Paisan from Canada, Arturo Gatti. Great boxer, but you get a punch on him, he just can't change who Arturo was. He wanted to get in there and brawl, and I think that's what Hollenbeck is. He's just one of those guys, he'll work all the technique in the world. The kid likes to fight, and he likes to get in there and mix it up. Great matchmaking in The Big Apple is where the biggest names in kickboxing are competing at Glory 12 New York. The judges have tabulated their scores. Tim Hughes is about to deliver the verdict for this lightweight matchup. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we send it again to the judges' scorecards. They give us back a unanimous decision. All three judges score them out 30 26 for your winner, Kai Hollenbeck. Kai Hollenbeck improves to three and one with a workmanlike unanimous decision win over the gutsy Warren Shaka Zulu. Stableman, so Hollenbeck improving to 46 and 3 as a professional.